My name is Connie Kleckler. I started my association working for the library 41 years ago. My name is Evelyn Nelson and I moved here over 40 years ago and moved in next door to the library clerk. <laughs> so that gets you involved <clears throat> right away. But um, was, I helped with fundraisers and um, whatever needed to be done down at the library. I think the tenacity, the commitment, the dedication it's taken from all of the organizations, um, not just Shasta County, the City of Reading, the library staff, both here and at the Intermountain Library, as well as all of those community members that really rallied behind it. I think this project uh, is the culmination that really speaks to the heart of that community. It's, it's, it's an exciting future for, for Bernie and for the whole Intermountain community. So Melanie Kearns was, was the, a visionary really about what the library could be and what it could be for our youth of our community and, and was really the visionary behind the project of creating the Children's Corner. And Those who knew Melanie knew that she had a passion for reading and had since she was very, very young. She had an extremely large personal library. Uh, she had several thousand of her own books. Unfortunately, she passed away before we could get it done. But every time we come together as a Rotary Club to do work here at the library, I'm sure not just me, but my fellow Rotarians are also thinking about her and, and kind of, you know, thinking, yeah, she's smiling down on us because it's really happening. It's really going to be um, really something special for, for the kids in our community. I on the sidelines are just, you know, I was much more fetch and carry uh, than, than any real leadership role. That was done by uh, a group of, frankly, women in the community who put this thing on their shoulders and made it happen. Friends of the Intermountain Library was formed. It was actually called Eastern Shasta County Library because Fall River was involved with it too, but we weren't moving quickly enough for them and they had all kinds of donations coming in for buildings and everything else. So it was, the name was changed to Friends of the Intermountain Library. Phil and Suzanne Kane got involved and thought, you know, if we were going to do this, it would be good to have a newsletter to let people know what was happening. And so he designed the logo that has the big crow on it that says FOIL, F-O-I-L. I don't recall exactly what year that she joined FOIL, uh, ultimately became uh, the, the president of FOIL. She got involved with um, a, a rotary project uh, which was being uh, led by Bill Campbell. Rotary believes in funding sustained community assets and the Bernie Public Library is an important community asset to enhance the education of young people along the children's section but of adults as well. And then of course, Pat Pell picked it up and you know, those uh, just two amazing talents, skill sets to make this thing happen. I'm Pat Pell. I'm the former president of FOIL, Friends of the Intermountain Libraries. To bring this to fruition has taken many, many years, many, many FOIL boards, many people working hard, exploring ways that this could come to the conclusion it has. They've given their time, their money, their ideas, their energy. The, the original library has a small corner. We've, we've got this huge space where, where we're gonna actually have reading materials for the kids where they can actually look and see titles that they want. To do programming, we would have to set up tables outside. Most of our summer programming, all the kids, we'd drag tables out, so two tables at least. The kids would sit on the floor, we'd have a reader. So the kids would be on the grass, the reader would be in a chair, and that would be how we'd set up our summer reading program outside. Every week we'd have to do this, which was fun, but it would be nice to have space. <laughs> I'd like to think we're making her proud that we're getting it done. So, well, I, I talk to her occasionally, and she's pleased. There's some real passionate people about 
literacy in our community and about libraries in general. Uh, literacy has a huge connection to the amount of times people make 911 calls for service. So if you have a community that has uh, um, a high illiterate population, there's a huge amount of use of the 911. And where a marginalized kid might go bad or might go good, we, we see the statistics showing that this makes it a huge difference. The deficit and the cost when you engage with the kids and let them know that community is important. And one way to do that is by showing them some of the exciting things that are available. In addition to the children's area, which is geared more towards younger children, there is going to be a section for the teens with uh, young adult literature and, and appropriate reading for that age as well, where they can uh, have some seating and table areas as well as the books available to them. This project spoke to a sweet spot for us, and that is volunteerism. Uh, there was a recent volunteer day where a group of community members put together all the shelving in the library for the books. Significant labor cost savings by having individuals come forward and provide that volunteer labor. And there are also two other individual private study rooms for smaller groups if you're homeschooling and you want to work with your child or a couple of children, they would be ideal. My name is Judy Jameson and I'm working on a new Dropbox for the new library. That's what I'm doing. It's a huge, huge thing. <laughs> I mean, it's like... <laughs> but, but they asked me to do this, and I felt very touched and very privileged to be able to do it. The library is vital to people who are using the Pacific Coast Trail. They often come in because it's free, it's air-conditioned, it's cool, water supply now. So, and then I also think the internet service is a huge asset because so many of us, um, myself included, uh, we have satellite internet service and it's very limited at times and so this is going to expand those capabilities um, for people to come in if they can't access something on their home computer, then they can go into the library and perhaps get the help that they need there. With this new library, we finally have a meeting room the foundation believe that meeting room space is critical and that having a place that's beautiful for people to gather and plan and strategize and celebrate. Businesses are more than welcome to sign up and use this space. Um, we have been approached already for this use. You can hook into webinars, something of interest to you or a group of people. You can uh, have your your book group meet here. And uh, with Kim and her team, uh, Joey Forseth, I believe, um, and Adam Whelan, they had collaborated to put together a beautiful millwork theater facade for the building. And it's, it's in a great location, and I will have to say it's uh, whoever remodeled it did an amazing job, and it's a very attractive building. Thank you, Keith Roper, <laughs> for um, working with us on this, it's a beautiful building. We were also extremely proud of the Bernie and Intermountain community, that they had stayed the course and that they were tenacious uh, and they had not been willing to say no, take no for an answer over the years and that they really had developed a very viable, successful project for us to fund. The involvement with the community has just been amazing. I mean, they have always, always, always backed us up, helped us in ways you just wouldn't even think about. And we were a major force in the community. I mean, very few things happen at the county or uh, in the communities that the library wasn't involved in. We're where we are now because of the work of uh, folks like Kim Niemer and the crew from City of Reading who's been out here, you know, trying to get everything up to code and ready to go. Opening the new library is a statement of the hard work, perseverance, and dedication of the community. Well, I thank all the board members and all the volunteers who stuck with this over the last, well, actually, total of 13 years. These two murals reflect Melanie's vision of how we can make the children look fun and inviting and reflect the community in the area which we live. There were many difficult years. It was very hard work, but the community always, always came through. But I knew there were other people that were just as passionate about it. 
and I am absolutely thrilled. I don't have one specific event that I can tell you about, obviously, but I am thrilled to death. We are right in the middle of things. It's going to be great. Thank you. You just can't ever give up.